Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you. This morning, I'm going to read a book that's called Tracking with Uncle Joe. And it's written by Laura Appleton Smith and illustrated by Carol Brandenburg. This is one of my favorite books in the classroom. Every spring, Dan and I visit Uncle Joe at his cabin. On this visit, Uncle Joe has a plan for us to go tracking. We set off to hunt for animal tracks in the mud and melting snow. Dan and I follow Uncle Joe up the road. Sap drips into buckets. Tap, tap, tap. As we pass a row of maple trees. I've noticed some maple trees around Brooklyn. Have you? Uncle Joe tells us that there will be lots of animals hidden around us. Our goal is to hunt for animal tracks, but it will be even better if we can spot an animal itself. Have you seen any animals around Brooklyn? We follow Uncle Joe to the willow on the bank of the pond. The spring frogs sing and croak from the mud banks next to Uncle Joe's rowboat. I spot tracks in the mud. Those are duck prints, Joan, Uncle Joe tells me. A duck has webs in its toes. The webs help the duck to swim well. Have you ever seen a duck? We see a duck with six ducklings in tow floating in the pool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would you like to count? Past the pond is an embankment. Dan spots a hole in the sand on the bank. This is a fox den, Uncle Joe tells us. Is the fox in it? Dan asks as he tiptoes up to the hole. Here are tracks, I tell Dan. The fox must be out of his den. I suspect the fox is inspecting us from a hidden spot, just as we are inspecting his den, Uncle Joe says. Do you think the fox is inspecting them? As we enter the hollow, our steps disrupt a rabbit. When a rabbit hops, its big back legs hop in front of its front legs. So a rabbit track has back feet prints in the front and front feet prints in the back. 
Did you know that? I didn't know that. We follow Uncle Joe into a stand of oak trees. Squirrels run up the trunks of the oaks as we pass. Dan spots little squirrel tracks in the snow. Do you ever see squirrels in Brooklyn? Just then, Uncle Joe spots two deer. One is a buck and one is a doe. The buck and the doe jump a log and run across the road. That buck was a big fellow, Uncle Joe says. Have you ever seen a deer? On the trip back, we see a crow that had just flown up to the top of a maple tree. Uncle Joe shows us the best track yet. It is a track left by the crow's wings as he lifted up from the snow. Can you find the crow and its tracks? cabin, we discussed the tracks of animals we spotted. A rabbit, ducks, a crow, a buck and a doe, frogs, and a fox. But we never spotted the fox itself, Dan moans. How do you think Dan feels right now? We can hunt for the fox and its tracks on your next visit, Uncle Joe tells us. That will be fun. Do you think that would be fun? And that's the end of Tracking with Uncle Joe. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.